Welcome to Get Paid for Your Pad, the definitive show on Airbnb hosting, featuring the best advice on how to maximize profits from your Airbnb listing, as well as real life experiences from Airbnb hosts all over the world. Welcome. We are your hosts, Josefa Kapadia and Jasper Rivers. Get paid for your pad. 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 This episode is brought to you by Hostfully, a company that helps you make beautiful guidebooks for your listing. Especially for Get Paid for Your Pet listeners, get two free months of their premium version. For more details, visit hostfully.com slash pad. Welcome everyone, Get Paid for Your Pet, episode 196, coming up to 200 episodes. A nice, uh, nice mileage point. Um, today I am w- interviewing a very special guest. He is a Airbnb host for about four years, but he's a, a lot of other things. Uh, he's a one of the most active members of the Melbourne community, Mar- the Airbnb community in Melbourne, Australia. Uh, he's also the founder of Rome Local and the tribe leader of a very active Facebook group and page, Airbnb's finest host. So welcome to the show, Paul Hart. Thanks for having me, Jasper. Pleasure to be here. Yeah, awesome to have you, man. Uh, uh, We were just chatting quickly uh, before the recording. Uh, There's a lot to talk about, but uh, you know, it's we'll we picked a topic, and and that will be we'll we'll stay focused. Yeah, let's try (laughs) and stay focused. I'm sure we'll we'll you know we'll jump on a few different little islands around our main island, but you know we're we're mainly going to talk about. Now, how Airbnb hosts can integrate local businesses in their neighborhood into their, their Airbnb experience more than by just recommending it for places. And I think Absolutely. this is a really awesome topic because, you know, as you, as you know, around the world, Airbnb has come under quite a bit of fire, especially in the major cities. And so in the sort of the debate, whether Airbnb is good for the city or not, uh, I think one of the sort of arguments in favor of Airbnb is that, you know, the, the tourists that stay at Airbnbs typically spend their money at local businesses, smaller local businesses in neighborhoods versus, you know, the major hotels and, you know, the, the places that the major hotels will di- direct you to, which are typically, you know, also bigger businesses, I think, than, uh, than you see in the neighborhood. Uh, would you agree with that? Absolutely. Yeah. Look, um, Hosts who have been hosting for a little while understand the the local impact, the positive local impact they have on their their communities, and and the local businesses are the first people that see that. Awesome, and you know, and I, I know with uh, with Rome Local, you you are one of your aims is to try and connect more local businesses with Airbnb hosts. But uh, I would love to know, you know, how how did this all start? Like, did you? I know you've been hosting for about four years or so. Um, how does how did your focus turn to you know integrating the local businesses? Yeah, okay. So my Airbnb story starts at in two thousand and nine, December two thousand and nine, as a guest traveling like most of us. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll bounce through this pretty quickly because every origin story is kind of similar but different. Um, so yeah, hosting began in the start of twenty thirteen after traveling quite a while. Um, we came back home and I used Airbnb to help me start up a new business while we were hosting people in our place. Um, that snowballed into running local host meetups in Melbourne, um, you know, with sanctioning and support from Airbnb as well. They were intrigued and keen to help a community flourish here, and that's certainly what happened. So I sort of sort of ran that as a volunteer basis. There was no nothing untoward but apart from bringing people together and having a conversation. And lo and, lo and behold, when we all got together, there was a lot of conversation around, well, we're always recommending our local places to our guests and it seems like repetitive behavior and I, I come from a technology and marketing background so repetitive behavior sounds like technology can solve these things so lo and behold you know after a lot of conversations a lot of, a lot of drinks um, chatting with local hosts I sort of came together with a solution that was a mobile app called Rome Local 
that helped connect businesses into our Airbnb experience as a host, as a local person, and sharing that out with our guests. And it's taken a little while longer to get it built and all those sort of things, but we're here now. Um, and we're rolling out and we're connecting businesses into the Airbnb economy. And, you know, long story short, we're working towards a, a, a reality where where hosts get rewarded for sending guests to businesses. As in, when I say a reward, I mean a commission, a, a tip from those businesses. So, so yeah, exciting times. Awesome. And what led you to uh, start the Airbnb community of Airbnb's finest hosts? Uh, well, that, that, that back dates even, even further. I'm a, I'm a weird sucker for punishment, I guess. Um, I, uh, I started a, a car community previous to that. Um, I'm an, I, I dabble on the online and I enjoy bringing people together. Um, that's something that I've learned more over the last few years than anything else, but I, I enjoy bringing people together and seeing what comes of it. And, you know, I started a car community previously to that around a, the Ford XR5 Turbo, um, yeah, a car in Australia that's now, now no longer existing, but I started that earlier on and, you know, got a good mix of technology and community building and, and then I, you know, sort of fell in love with what Airbnb was doing for me and, you know, here we are. And your group is growing very fast. I saw there's over 4,000 members. Yeah, look, I, I don't, I worry more about the quality than the quantity. Um, it's, it's important that we're having good conversations as opposed to lots and lots of really poor conversations i'm hoping that we're trying to shoot we're trying to shoot the gap on that one um but yes it's certainly growing um there's lots of communities growing online and and we're hoping to i'm hoping that we can stay a, an honest and true one right all right so let's talk more about the the local businesses so let's say you now you're you're an airbnb host in a city like what can you do to integrate more of the local businesses other than you know, the, I think what most hosts do is they, uh, they have some sort of guidebook or they have some sort of word document or email that they send to their guests where they, you know, they recommend their, their favorite spots. But what would be the next step for, for Airbnb hosts to sort of uh, take it to the next level? Yeah, look, I, I'd hope that every, every good Airbnb host out there has a good guidebook. I'd like to think that everyone's using the, the platform as uh, maximizing their use on the platform and using it as properly as they can. Um, but we all know as an Airbnb host day to day that the guidebook is sort of clunky and hard to use. Um, and it's not, and there are good options out there to really accent what your, depending on what your guest book is and your guidebook is and onboarding people into your home. There's lots of good options out there. Um, but what we wanted to do was, was actually create a real economy around connecting businesses into your hosting experience. So it's a little bit different. So we're, we're keen on helping you as a host you know, quickly nominate the local businesses that you already support with your guests going there and helping them under, I guess, create a deeper relationship with them and then getting, getting a small monetary benefit out of it. Cause you should, you know, you're providing this huge economic benefit into the area, into the local community. Let's, let's, let's realize that. So, so a few moving parts to the application, but it's, it's actually pretty streamlined once you get into it. And what about, uh, you know, if, if you're an Airbnb host out there somewhere and you just want to get started with, mm -hmm. uh, you know, with, with integrating more businesses, like I would imagine you just, you just basically go to your favorite places and you talk to, talk to the manager or talk to the owner or something and just let them know, Hey, you know, we're, we're Airbnb host in this neighborhood. And, uh, you know, we, we recommend this place to, to all of our guests. And I think there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of good things that can can come out of that because you know first of all I think it's important that local businesses also realize that they are getting more revenue because of the Airbnb hosts in their neighborhood. Yeah, no doubt. And so all the really entrepreneurial hosts out there are already doing this. Um, they're already talking to businesses. They're already talking to tour tourism provide you know travel providers in the local area. They're connecting the dots together and and helping their guests have a, a more local experience. Everyone's been doing this for years. We've all been doing it ever ever since, you know, the second we all opened our doors to strangers and to come and stay with us. And after two or three of them, we realized that we're all, we're all kind of the same. We're all relaxed. We're all people who want to achieve similar things. We're all traveling, trying to experience new things. The second we all sort of cut all those things away, we quickly realized that people are coming to our communities to experience the local communities. And so... They're really the entrepreneurial businesses and the hosts are connecting up and having conversations and, and lining things up. So 
what Roam Local does is is create a framework around that happening, a more a uniform framework. And once we get when we're getting to scale around that, then there's sort of net benefits for everybody around that. So we're just sort of taking something that everyone's doing, yeah, as was Airbnb originally. You know, B and B's predated Airbnb, and we're, what we're doing is predating yeah, you know this general handshake agreement that we've all had with our local businesses. Hopefully, we've all got a cafe somewhere that we love that you're recommending to your guests that your guests go to. And fall in love with as well for the small amount of time that they're there. So we're we're just sort of accenting that and sort of turning the volume up on that and creating a small lightweight platform that accentuates that and accelerates it for benefit for everybody. Hopefully, yeah. I mean, I think there's there's a lot of benefits because you now let's say let's say you arrive in in the city and you're staying with an Airbnb host and the host directs you to you know like his favorite their favorite cafes. Uh, when you show up and let's say you get like a, a free cup of coffee or something, you know, I mean, that, that's something that you remember, right? Those, mm. are, those are the little things that you remember uh, as a traveler. And so, I yeah. think, you know, and, and you're talking about uh, even the, the host maybe getting a, getting a small commission on that as well. Yeah, it's a funny thing what motivates different hosts, which is really interesting to have talked to a lot, you know, thousands of hosts about. I'm like, what, are you, what does motivate you and, and, you know, how can we help? Um, different hosts have different, different, you know, different objectives. And that's cool too. That's totally fine. It's a big, big platform. It's a big ecosystem. It's a big marketplace and we all have different needs. Um, you know, there's lots of hosts that I've met that are like, well, if this, this can help me get better reviews as sort of this sort of mid tail sort of reward, that's great too. If I, it can help me just automate something that I seem to have to do every time someone shows up. That would be great too. If I can be more personal during that, that's great, great as well. So there's sort of these weird sort of net benefits that, that just being a little bit, you know, I don't want technology to replace humanity at all. I think everyone should be really personal with how they host, but certainly using Roam Local will, will help people easily and effortlessly deliver their really local, hyper-local recommendations to their guests before they even arrive at their, at their listing um, using technology. So it's, it's really in tune with what people are trying to do. And, you know, if someone shows up and goes to the local, local restaurant and has a, has a good meal there and you know, they got a free glass of wine while they were there and, and, you know, the net benefit there is business in the local community wins, host gets a better review, guest has a great time. There's, there's good cohesion there. So lots of moving parts, but I think we're solving something. Yeah, no, definitely. I, see, I, see. I think it's a win-win win hmm. situation right it's like the guest wins because the guest feels like they're they're getting a, a special experience the the you know the, the restaurant wins and and the host wins as well as you as you've mentioned even even without the potential financial uh reward that that could be there um even without that uh like you said uh just i mean when i think i always think that if the guest is having a better experience if the guest wins then the host wins automatically as well you know Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we, as a hostess myself, I'm, I'm like, I built this based on the fact that I want it's, to, it's, it's all about solidifying really strong reviews for ourselves. Um, but if we can take that and then turn, connect these businesses into, into our economy as well, then, then they can reward us. If we can create a, a function where the businesses can reward us a little bit by tipping us for those guests going and visiting those places, then we can win a little bit more. So the example would be, you know, in a local area, if you stay with me, if say you're saying you're paying hundred dollars a night to stay with me and you go and the guest goes out and has a good time in a local area using Rome local, they, you know, I would like to think depending on the type of guest, you know, you've got guests who are backpackers all the way through to sort of business travelers. And, you know, there's a different, different spend on a daily basis, but you know, they're out there traveling and they've got to eat and drink at the end of the day, or they've got to get a haircut. If they want to get a massage. There's plenty of different things that can happen um, through this sort of commercial or, you know, this soft commercial arrangement that we have with our hosts and our guests. And if they go out there and they spend, you know, a hundred dollars in comparison to a hundred dollars they're spending to stay with me, then that's into the community, into the local economy, it really supports my businesses that I love. And those businesses, they, you know what? They are actually happy to tip tip us. They're happy happy to pay forward the word of mouth recommendation that we provide because we're this huge online community. There's four million plus of us now, um, and we are at this huge word of mouth recommendations engine for them, all in good spirit, all in the right way of we're going about it. So there's something really there, and we're just at the at the cusp of exploring that. You've heard me talk about Hostfully a lot over the past few months. I love sending my beautiful Hostfully guidebook to my guests. 
as it makes me look very professional. I also love including screenshots of my guidebook in my actual Airbnb listing. This helps me stand out from the crowd. Well, now I'm thrilled to announce that I'm a sponsor of the Hostfully Host program. Twice a month, Hostfully selects a host and features them on their top ranked blog. This is great promotion for your listing and a cool way to share your favorite local spots to a large audience. What's even cooler is that each Hostfully host gets a free set of organic sheets from the clean bedroom. And now that I'm a sponsor, you'll also be featured in my newsletter, my social media feeds, and you'll get free access to my video course on how to be a great host. For more details and how to apply, visit hostly.com slash hostly host. And what about the perspective of the, of the, of the local businesses? Like when you go to your favorite cafe and you say, Hey, uh, you know, I'm going to send my Airbnb guests here. Uh, can you guys give them a, a free glass of wine? What's, what's typically the response? Yeah, look, when you go talk to a local business and you say, I'm an Airbnb host, they're like, these days, it's really good. You know, two years ago when I was talking to them, these days are really good. Two years ago, they were like, what's Airbnb? These days, they're like, I love Airbnb. I've traveled with my family. Everyone has an experience these days. Um, you know, so they're, they're very much, there's generally a really positive, strong response. So they're very much, okay, well, if you want to send me customers, I, I like customers. So that's a really good thing. <laughs> and uh, so send me customers if you long, want, and let's let's have a conversation how this can work. And that's what Roam Local does essentially. We're, we're helping to put a, a framework around brokering experiences for guests to come, new revenues for a business, new, new guests to come into an area, have a really in-tune experience um, that's really local and just really authentic. Because when I send a guest around the corner to my local cafe, they go talk to a girl called Tweet who runs the local cafe and Tweet's great to him. You know, she goes over the top to take care of him. She has great food. She has great coffee. It's all the basic standard stuff. So there's a really good reward for everybody. And naturally she gets money in her drawers. So, you know, it's, it's sort of, it's sort of all working together. And that's a good idea to make it more personal to, to tell your guests to, to speak to a certain person because then they really feel like they're living like a local. Yeah, I've got, I've got, look, I've got other, other businesses that aren't giving a free coffee or a free drink away. I've got one that's like, we'll sing him a song. So, you know, and I, and I, I, I really encourage, because I'm a bit of a weirdo myself, I encourage doing some interesting things with people. I'm like, your time, you know, all our time is worth more than a free coffee or anything like that. We're all busy people. But if you can like provide something that's really unique that like, I went to St Kilda and this waiter sang me a song, <laughs> you know, you're never going to forget that. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, and it's going to have this, it's going to leave a mark. And I'm like, and, and that costs you nothing apart from a bit of time as a business, you know? So, and I encourage, and I will continue to encourage businesses to be more bold about what they do. You know, that's, that, that's going to take a little while to get, get going, but, <laughs> but there are businesses out there like, you know what, we'll, we'll do something silly and we'll, we'll impress them. And I'm like, please do. Do something unique. We all, we're, as hosts, we're all trying to do unique things and, and leave a mark. So I hope the businesses want to get involved and do that same sort of thing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so for for the hosts out there who uh, who want to start, um, you know, hitting up uh, some some local businesses in their area, what's what's the best way to approach those businesses? Should they go in and ask for the manager, ask for the owner? Who who should they speak to, and what's sort of the best way to go about it? Yeah, look, even if even if they don't want to use Roam Local, which I hope they would, I'm, I would be happy for them to reach out to me and I can give them my you know, sort of one, two, three. I've, spoke to, I've spoken to thousands of businesses sort of cheat sheet to the whole thing. I'm happy to share that. I've got it. They can have it. I want, I, I'd like to see hosts going in there, go, feeling bold enough to go and go think about it and go, you know what, I'm gonna, I want to wrap this around my local Airbnb hosting. I want to do a better job. I want to get better reviews. Paul's, Paul's obviously spoken to a few people and had some been thrown out a few times and, and had some really good, good experiences as well. I'm happy to share that information. Otherwise, yeah, it's just a case of going, you know, ask yourself, do you have five or six local businesses that you love that you're already frequenting and, and just having an open conversation with them and say, Hey, I'm an Airbnb host in the local area. I've probably been sending you business for the last few months anyway. Um, what can we do? And it's a simple open-ended conversation and, and most businesses that are like, Hey, I want to support locals who support me. 
will respond in kind. Um, those that don't, you just move on to the next one. But it's few and far between. Once you're, you know, really focused on local community sort of businesses, you do, you'll find that they respond respond really well. Did you get any negative reactions? Oh, look, hospitality is a is a messy, murky swamp. Um, so yeah, but they weren't negative. They were just dismissive more than anything else. They were just like, I don't have time. I don't want to talk to you. And I'm like, are you sure? Because there's 14,000 hosts in Melbourne and I'm busily standing up a standing up a platform that could help drive more business to you. Um, but okay, if you don't want to do this, then maybe we'll regather ourselves, uh, regather our thoughts later on. Otherwise, you know, there's always another good business around the corner. And, you know, as a local, as a local person, each host has their own little local places and, you know, I can stand up my own, my own local cocktail bars and all that myself. And, and so could yourself. And, you know, every host can easily think of at least two or three places. And if they stretch their mind, they can get to 20 really quickly. And that's where it's like, don't overwork yourself. Let's, let's tick them off as we go along. And can you explain a little bit about how, how hosts can use Rome Local to achieve this? Yeah. Okay. So Roam Local is the first thing first, it's a mobile app available on Apple and Android. Um, and what it allows you to do is download the app, create some recommendations, connect your calendar to it. And so when you get a booking, um, 48 hours to seven days, we're, we're working on that at the moment, but 48 hours before they arrive, we send on your behalf a message to your guest um, and saying, hey, you know, in your instance, hey, hey, you're staying at Jasper's place. Why don't you download Rome Local? Here's his explicitly local recommendations he loves to share with his guests in a mobile app that has mapping and all those sort of useful things. It's in their hip pocket straight away. So they're there and then connecting into the local community before they even arrive. So, you know, two days beforehand has sort of been the sweet spot with, in our early testing has sort of been the, the spot that we need to work with. Um, but we'll, 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 we'll have a flow with that, you know, if it's via text message or email that we, we make that work. So we're on board guests automatically into the hosting experience. And so hopefully, um, well, not hopefully it's actually working as guests arrive, they show up at your doorstep as a host and they're like, yeah, I've already got all your recommendations. I'm going to go check this one out. This one down the road's giving me a, a free beer at, during happy hour. So I'm going to go there cause you said it, it's great. And, and as you know, and as most hosts know, our recommendations are really strong and our, our, there's a whole lot of trust and authenticity to what we do. And that's just can propagate itself out in, in the recommendations we provide in the local community. So, so yeah. Awesome. Is this available worldwide? Yep, absolutely. Okay. Very yep. cool. There's no, no, no limits to it. We'll, we will work with anyone, um, anywhere and, uh, and we're just rolling it out now. So it's, it's very early days, but we're live um in a public sort of beta fashion any host that really wants to get rolling we're ready to go we've got you know 400 odd hosts up and running um that's it's it's testing times for how much sleep we get awesome <laughs> um now now that i'm talking to the uh you know the, the mel airbnb melbourne expert i did mm -hmm. want to ask you a few questions about the the local situation in melbourne you mentioned there's 14,000 hosts in melbourne which is uh which really puts melbourne on the map because it's probably like one of the top 10 uh, airbnb locations around the world yep um and i've actually interviewed quite a few uh, hosts from melbourne and uh and so uh, it seems like melbourne is a pretty airbnb friendly place yeah i mean australia it, it, as i don't mean to be pro-australian but uh, australia i mean i am obviously i'm australian so um Australia is seen as a, a key indicator for Airbnb that all things can go right. Um, we're strong travellers and we're strong hosts. Um, and Melbourne, you know, Sydney obviously is 22,000, 24,000 plus listings. Airbnb, Melbourne is 14,000 plus listings. So we're, yeah, and, and across the nation, we're really strong. And per capita, you know, we've got 25 million people across this big, vast, you know, place we call Australia. So per capita, we're a strong indicator across the board as far as Airbnb is concerned. And, and we do it in the right way. I'd, I'd like to think the majority, a vast majority of hosts in, in Australia host really well. And I think that's across the board everywhere. But, um, you know, I'm being somewhat, re, you know, local bias a little bit. I, I hope not too much. But um, we're, we are, we're good at what we do. Um, we travel really well. We, and we, and we bring that home when we host. Um, 
and so yeah, so we do we do so you know local the local supply and demand of you know Melbourne in Australia. If you open it up on a globe, um, you're like, well, that's a long way away from lots of different things. Um, Fourteen thousand. Um, listings in Melbourne is an interesting conundrum for some of the hosts who have been around for a while. Um, they're not seeing sort of the returns that they were hoping, okay, you know, way back in the day. But that's what you get with a, you know, an open platform and a marketplace. And that's how it performs. And that's those hosts that adapt to that and understand that um, continue to continue to thrive. And those that don't, unfortunately, we we we, lo- we lose a few of the good ones. Yeah, are there not any regulations around Airbnb in Melbourne? It's on its way. Yeah. So we're in that middle ground. We're not. So, so, so from a regulations perspective, Airbnb is, it's a very pro Airbnb in Melbourne, which we're lucky with. Um, Sydney and Melbourne are busily shaking it out at the moment. We've got, we've got state governments in both areas trying to figure out what they want to do. Um, They both regularly and reasonably understand that uh, Airbnb is very 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 positive for the local tourism, um, which is like many cities in the world becoming a becoming more and more of a focus uh, for better or worse. Um, so look, we'll see. We've got we've had we've had studies, we've had uh, hearings, we've had you know we've had a few court cases like many cities that have gone both ways. You know, for not necessarily hoteliers, but for neighbourhood problems and those sort of things versus you know the warrant of of hosting and being able to do your own things in your own places that you own. Um, you know, things are swirling about, I guess is the best way to put it. Just like many other cities. I'd like to think it's going to, I mean, I'm, I'm biased, but I'd like to think it was going to swing up our, our way. I think it will. We've got other States, um, like hope, like Tasmania currently, uh, and Adelaide currently that have a very pro Adelaide being, sorry, being South Australia, being very pro Airbnb and just going, this is good for us. Let's, let's explore this further. Um, yeah, so, but the big ones haven't, haven't fallen into line yet. So that's Sydney and Melbourne, which would be the two big, two big cities in Melbourne. So we'll see. Awesome. Well, it's good to see that there's, uh, there's a few places around the world, at least a few big cities where, where, uh, you know, Airbnb is not, uh, getting, uh, getting attacked, uh, all around the, all around the clock. So, you know, definitely good news, uh. And hopefully the, when the regulation gets put into place, it'll be very favorable and it sounds like it will be. So that's well, you're welcome. You're welcome to come and hang out in the world's most livable city anytime, Jasper. Yeah. Well, you know, actually uh, <laughs> I've, I've been hanging out with, uh, with, with a buddy of mine. He's from Melbourne. Uh, we were actually on a plane. Uh, we flew from Stockholm to Bangkok together. So we had a, it was a day flight. So we had a lot of time to chat and nice. uh, you know, he's a, he's a very good friend and, I was actually going to introduce him uh, to you because he, he's planning on doing Airbnb himself. So sure thing. You'll, Absolutely. you'll probably see an intro from me uh, arriving uh, arriving soon. Oh, let's do it. Sounds good. Awesome, man. Uh, well, we've, we've, uh, we're running out of time. Um, any any final thoughts or uh, maybe share with the listeners how they can get involved with uh, Rome Local? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So... Um, first things first, if you want, if you want to connect with other, you know, other hosts across the globe and have a, hopefully have a good, honest conversation about the trials and tribulations of what you're up to as a host, um, jump on Facebook and jump on Airbnb's finest hosts. Just do a search for us. Just jump on in, answer a couple of quick questions. And I'll let you in the door and, and you'll find, uh, we share a lot of information around what the news is around the area. And, um, we just have a good conversation on what, what hosting is. Um, beyond that, obviously, there is Rome Local, um, which is if you go to www.rome local, as in R O A M L O C A L dot co, um, you can quickly sign up. You know, there's a link there just to just to connect with us. And the second you connect with us, um, you'll hear back from me pretty quick um, as a host. And I'm like, let's get you on board. Let's get going. Let's 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 build a world where businesses are rewarding hosts for sending guests to them. It seems like too much common sense to me. So. Um, and any other questions, you can find us on Twitter and Facebook and all those other things. We're out there. Awesome. Come and find us. All right, uh, Paul, all well, my last words to you. Oi, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm okay with Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Okay, we'll go with that. <laughs> all right, Paul, well, thank you so much for joining today. And of to all the listeners, thank you very much for listening. And uh, on Friday, there'll be the next episode in which we'll talk about the news. So I hope to see you then. Beautiful. Thanks for having me.
Get paid for your pet. Get paid for your pet. Get paid for your pet.